Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Sunday, the 13th day of November 2022, and our topic for today is God Requires Diligence. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, our God and our King, we thank you for your love over us. We thank you for the week we just concluded. We thank you for taking us out and for bringing us back again. We thank you for the recently concluded Abuja Special Holy Ghost Service where you reminded us that you are the I am that I am. We thank you for blessing your children. We thank you also for the souls that were saved. We say receive all the thanks in Jesus' name. We are gathered before you again, Lord, to have of this heavenly meal. We ask that you would bless us with your word. Let our lives be enriched by it. Let these words bear root down in our hearts and fruits outwards in our lives. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Proverbs chapter 13 verse 4. Proverbs 13 verse 4 reads, The soul of the sluggard desireth and hath nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. Proverbs 13 verse 4. And our text for today is from the book of Proverbs chapter 6 from verse 6 to 11. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 6 to 11 reads, Go to the ant, thou sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise, which having no guide, overseer or ruler, provided her meat in the summer and gathered her food in the harvest. How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep, so shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and thy want as an armed man. Proverbs chapter 6 from verse 6 to 11. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is God requires diligence. And in today's study, our Father and the Lord says to us that many people assume that God blessing them means that money will just suddenly fall in their laps. That is not true. If you want things to get better, then as God opens doors, You also need to work diligently. A few years ago, I gave someone an assignment in January which he could have completed in three months. My plan was to give him another as soon as he completed the first. However, as at September, he was still struggling to finish. There was no way I could give him another. God had opened doors of financial blessings to him, but he refused to be diligent, so he only got the blessing from one door. On the other hand, there was a son of mine who would always ask me to pray for him to have a breakthrough whenever he saw me and I always obliged him. One day, I received a letter from him saying he had gotten a big contract. When I saw the amount, I believed he must have mistakenly added more zeros than the actual value. I thought he mistook 500,000 naira for 50 million naira. After some time, to my amazement, I got a check from him and the cover note saying, Daddy, I have paid my tithe, but you are the one who prayed, so here is another 10% for you. I was shocked to see that he wasn't mistaken after all, so I called him to hear his story. He said that he had executed a project for his state government and the governor was so impressed with his performance that he invited him to his office and gave him another project that ended poverty in his life. God wants to answer many people's prayers, but their lack of diligence has blocked the breakthrough from coming. Luke 16 verse 12 says, And if ye have not been faithful in that which is another man's, who shall give you that which is your own? You say your salary where you work now is small, and you want God to give you a breakthrough so that you will be paying people's salaries. However, if you are not faithful in another man's business, how can God give you yours? God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
Our topic for today once more says, God requires diligence. And you'll remember from our study yesterday that we studied the topic, things will get better. We saw from that study that it is God's desire that we prosper even as our soul prospers. And today's study is in furtherance to God's desire for us. Seeing that God's desire is that we prosper, we also have a part to play to make this become a reality. Our God is a God of order and of principle. It is true that He desires that we prosper, but His promise is to bless the works of our hands. And elementary mathematics makes us understand that zero multiplied by a million is still zero. When God's blessings rest upon an empty and slothful hand, the results would not change. In fact, there would be nothing to bless and multiply. Hence, we learn in our study today that God requires diligence. For so many of us, just like our Father and the Lord has stated in today's study, we have prayers, we have desires. We cry unto God day and night for divine miracles and interventions. But many times we also forget that we have a part to play. It is in God's power to bless us. However, when diligence is absent, the equation becomes incomplete and so we cannot see our desired results. 1 Corinthians 4 verse 2 says, Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. Wherever it is that God has placed us, He requires to see us demonstrate faithfulness and diligence. It is true that you may be praying for increase. Your present position may be too small, so you want a blessing, you desire a lifting from that place. But this does not come by complaining or murmuring or just remaining idle. Take that current state and the assignments that you have as a divine assignment from God, putting all your strength and effort to it, and our God who rewards diligence will definitely remember you in due time. Job chapter 8 verse 7 says, Though thy beginning was small, yet thy latter end should greatly increase. So it does not matter the level that you are at now. Diligent hands and eyes fixed on Jesus will take you to the desired place. Hallelujah! Ecclesiastes 9 verse 10 tells us, Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. It is true that that job may be a menial job, but give it your best. That current position may not be befitting, I know. Nevertheless, remain diligent and faithful in your duties. Our memory verse for today from the book of Proverbs chapter 13 verse 4 says, The soul of the sluggard desireth and hath nothing but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. Man always has needs. The sluggard would always have wants and needs. Same with the diligent man as well. But scripture makes us understand that it is the diligent man who would enjoy this blessing of multiplication and increase. The sluggard would only continue with wishful thoughts. And when he does not see desired results, many times he turns around to blame God forgetting that he is breaking protocol and the principles of God. I pray for us today in the name of Jesus that the works of our hands are blessed, that the blessing of the Lord which added no sorrow with it rests upon the works of our hands, multiplying them in great measures in Jesus' name. I'd like us to bow our heads now and ask the Lord would say, Father, in the name of Jesus, grant me the grace for diligence. Luke chapter 16 verse 12 makes us understand that if you do not demonstrate diligence, you cannot be given your own. Say, Father, grant us the grace for faithfulness in that which is entrusted to us. Grant us the grace for diligence in whatever you have committed into our hands. Ask the Lord today that we would boldly do the works that he has entrusted us with. There is dignity in diligent labor. Ask the Lord today to do away from our lives all forms of slothfulness. I'd also like us to pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, wherever it is that we may have demonstrated diligence and faithfulness, and we are expecting his favor, that the Lord himself would remember us today in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord and say, Father, crown my efforts today with your success. You have promised to bless the works of our hands. Let us see your faithfulness in our lives in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord also and say, Father, your word tells us that though the beginning may be small, yet our latter end should greatly increase. See, Father, grant us speed and accelerated growth in whatever our hands find to do as we do them diligently in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord that we would enjoy both merited and unmerited favor, that we would find favor both before God and before man. Father, we thank you and we bless your name. We receive all the thanks. In Jesus' name we have prayed. 
Amen. Our dear Father, we are grateful for your word again. Thank you for reassuring us today that with diligence, there would be no limit to your blessings upon our lives. We ask that you grant us the grace today to walk as wise men. Walking with diligence, in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a key point in our study today that tells us God requires diligence for your breakthrough to come. And we declare today that we receive the grace for diligence and for accelerated breakthrough in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of John chapter 14 down to chapter 15. Hallelujah. We want to thank you and appreciate you for joining us today again. The Lord bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms. The Lord bless you. And as you go forth today, remember to have an awesome time in God's presence. Receive also the grace for diligence in Jesus' name. Our hymn for today is the hymn 3 of our Open Heavens devotional. We'll be singing deeper, deeper in the love of Jesus. Have an amazing day ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now. connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.